Released priest tells of the terrible ordeal he lived through with other kidnapped priests. In declarations to the Vatican agency Fides, Father Jean-Yves Metador, a religious of the clerics of St. Viator, who was kidnapped in Haiti, told of the ordeal of those who are kidnapped in the area controlled by a violent armed group. The priest said that on Friday, March 10, he was in a vehicle when suddenly seven armed persons seized him, tied his hands and blindfolded him. Then they took him to a place where he was locked up with other priests. There were about 30 hostages, separated into two rooms. Some slept in two beds, while others had to lie on cardboard on the floor. They ate once a day, with no drinking water or toilet. They had to relieve themselves in a hole. In captivity, the priest met an evangelical pastor who was also deprived of his freedom and with whom he used to pray with other prisoners. There are many people still in the hands of the kidnappers. Some have been there for more than a month. I consider myself fortunate to have been a prisoner for only 12 days. In our daily prayers we think of all the people held against their will. Some of them are sick and fragile. May God watch over them, described Father Jean-Yves. The presbyter points out that these were painful moments, but that he could feel the power of prayer. In addition, he affirms that he was not afraid of dying because he knew that God would not abandon him and that he was waiting for the day when he would be freed. According to Fides, Father Metador will not yet return to his parish Christ Roy Lou Myler, in Port-au-Prince, for security reasons. It should be mentioned that in Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince, there is the Croix de Bouquets suburb, which is under the control of the 400 Mawozo, a group characterized by kidnappings throughout the country. In 2021, this armed group kidnapped five priests, two nuns and three laypeople. All were finally released after negotiations and a ransom payment for two priests. Let us give glory to God for the release of Father Jean-Yves Metador, and let us pray to the Lord for the release of the other kidnapped, and let us not forget to pray for our brothers and sisters in Haiti who suffer so much from these armed groups. Praise Jesus Christ.